Hello to everyone. In this video, I will show you how to remove the CPU cooler and heatsink. And uh, mainly, I'm doing this video to show you how to remove the EHS, which stands for Integrated Heat Heat Spreader, and it's the big metal plate we see in on all our CPUs today. It is very heat conductive and rests on top of the actual CPU, which is called the die. Okay, now I will start uh, this process that I will show you here. It's also called D light. Or D lighting. Depends where you use the, the stir. So you'll have to slowly unscrew in uh, so don't unscrew completely each screw on itself unscrew in the diagonal so first this then this several times and then again a bit from here and in this way you have the guarantee that the pressure of the um, springs will not press too too hard on a single side. It is highly recommended to remove any heat spreader or um, fan or whatever in this way as otherwise you might damage the CPU not if it has a, an I, IHS because the um, in disintegrated heat spreader it's uh, there for protection mainly so you won't break a very expensive CPU or it doesn't get broken while it's being uh, transported Okay, so I removed the, the heatsink, as you can see. Now I'll have to gently push this and press it and push it to the left side. Then it will release the tension and now I am able to remove the CPU this is the excess uh, thermal paste because I've been using too much the paste it came out and this is the CPU just a sec let me wipe the thermal paste You will have to be very careful when you do this process, the um, EHS removal, so this is the EHS, this big um, metal piece is the EHS. It's an Intel Core 2. Okay. Now, I'll have to move on. You will need a very thin and strong blade and you will have to be very careful. So this is glued on the board. Uh, if you scratch the board you're gonna break the CPU so 
if you are not sure what you're doing don't do it because you will you will um, damage your cpu and it will be unusable okay so make sure you don't just um, for example just a second let, let me get my marker so to make sure that I, I'm not um, pushing the blame mo more than I am allowed to and this is the maximum you are allowed I will mark the blade yep that's enough so I'm marking the blade with some um, nail polish because I can't find my marker right now and I will start gliding the EHS be very gentle but because it will get damaged very easily Okay, now it looks like I will need to push this in a bit more, the blade. I think that's enough. Oh my god, too much. Okay, I have to heat this up a bit. In order to be able to remove it. Okay, I have to 
do the part 2 of this video because I don't have what I need right now. Uh, so check for part 2 of this video.